We are Construct and Consume, and this is the world's hottest peanut butter and jam. <laughs> Jelly? Jam? Sandwich. So, the, pe jam. the peanut butter is made with four packs of Psycho Nuts. I'll put in a picture here. Ding, ding. And uh, yeah, we've, we've had this before. This is a reshoot, I will be honest. Swap was on camera before. He did he did do it before, but uh, following a, a one million scum of chili, he has died. The Scotch bonnet chili jam. Yeah, it's made by Welsh Lady Preserves. Welsh Lady Preserve. Y'all want some of my Welsh Lady Preserve? What? Anyway, yeah, it's it's nice. We've had it before. Definitely a buy. Go and go and check them out. Look them up online. Look them up on Twitter. They retweeted us. So thanks, Welsh Lady Preserves. Thanks, Psycho Nuts as well. And before I forget, I'm going to give a shout out to a thousand follower. It's at my plate now, uh, Aussie Lass called Court. Uh, oh, is this the beer recommender? Yeah, she recommended a, a beer which I can't buy because I'm not in Australia. <laughs> Dan will be trying the jam, I'll be trying the peanut butter. We'll give you a bit of a review, a bit of a chat, and then we'll put it together and we'll each have half a salami each. Oh, we have a knife just here. Knife? Not for murdering, for cutting. Also for murdering. Get on with it, and we'll try peanut butter and jam first. Separately. I've got a bit of a fold to mine. We don't have a toaster. Toast the bread on the grill. It's pretty good. You did the same thing again. In our last take of this, <laughs> I did exactly the same. How did we do it? <laughs> mm. Sweet and a pleasant spicy. This is good. Peanut butter packs a reasonable heat. But it's got that peanut butter texture and flavour that's coming through. So the heat is not overwhelming. It's a very, very pleasant sort of heat. Which is strange considering it should be somewhere around the million range because it's made with uh, ghost pepper powder on the peanuts. And extract. I've got some million Scoville extract, which I'll put in a picture up here. And um, yeah, so maybe my tolerance is going up. Maybe the preparations that we've been doing, if you look back on our chili escalation video, jalapeno blew my head off. Eight sauce. <laughs> 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 Today I ate a million Scoville chili, supposedly. And I was okay. Now, I like this Scotch bonnet chili jam because it's a, it's a shake your hand and kiss your daughter kind of heat. Not a take her out in your car and And then send you pictures. Graphic yeah, pictures. Send you pics in the middle of the night. So what I'll do now. <laughs> what I'll do now, we'll combine the two together to make a PB and J. We've got PB and J marriage, and I'll slice it corner to corner, down the middle. Oh, always corner to corner. Corner to corner. Oh, look at that. Mm. A nice cross section. Do you see the cross section? It's got jam. It's got. Zoom in now. Let's zoom. Alright, so let's go on with this. Hmm. Need it when you get sweetener. Here comes the heat. I was wondering where the heat was. That's good. Great, that's a rope. I think that's, that's the prime balance between heat and sweet though. Bang it. There is a lot more heat to the peanut butter than there is to chili jam. Mm. And the Scotch bun is around <coughs> 300,000. Let's go, Will. Scotch pepper, somewhere around a million. So, scale it up by about three times. It's good stuff, man. Hmm. Look at the end of this. It is delicious, and I don't like peanut butter. Mm. No, peanut butter is amazing. I remember. That's definitely a buy. I'll put in a clip of Leonard. That's oh, definitely a buy. Definitely a buy. Now we'll play the theme music. God is on his head and you're about to get shot. I'm doing what Dan did. I'm changing your arms messy. The lady preserves all over the place. I think this sandwich is greater than the sound of this part. Dan's gone very red. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's gone quite big. May I have your attention, please? Constructing a student will be doing Movember. To try and raise money and awareness of men's health issues. It's a very good cause. I'm trying to get a full on beard. Style it in a weird way and I'll show it mm -hmm. to you. Uh, I don't want to lose facial hair, grow it at the rate of a prepubescent boy. Instead, leaving the problem areas of my face to grow out cheeks, neck, monobrow, hideous facial hair coming up over this month. So I've got that to look forward to. Um, I'll put a link in the description so they can go and contribute and uh, just get involved and raise awareness. 